Okay, do you know what this means? No. It means heart. Love. That means I love you. <gasps> do you love me? Love you, dog. <laughs> Boston, Massachusetts, best known for its rich history, top-notch education, thick accents. Khakis, 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 khakis. Now, an easy way to remember this is you put your khakis in your khakis and not the other way around. In some of the best sports teams on earth. Wide open, touchdown, Rob Gronkowski. Whoa, man, oh, man. And he's got a little jiggle wiggle in it. But we won't talk about that right now. Boston is my home. It's where I was born and raised. And while it's the home of this healthy honey, we'd be hard pressed to say that it's the home of healthy food too. Hi, I am Emmy. I am a certified nutritionist and the creator of the Slim on Starch program. And like I said, I am a Bostonian, born and raised here. And I love this place with every ounce of my being. I've lived all over the world and somehow I found myself back here, back where my roots are. Now, I am a social person and I love going out and being with people and going to restaurants, but as a nutritionist that eats an oil-free vegan diet, I find it very hard to go to restaurants and I know that I'm not alone in this struggle and that I hear honeys all over the world and many of my clients struggling with this same issue that eating an oil-free plant-based diet, it's very, very, very hard to find restaurants that are willing to accommodate to that. And truly, it's something that is wrong and it's something that should not be the case. It should be the case that no matter what your diet is, whether you eat meat like a carnivore or you're an herbivore like me, that you can go out to a restaurant and you can get a meal that caters to your diet. I shouldn't hear that wives are struggling because they can't go on date nights with their husbands or that people can't go out with their friends anymore. That's not right. And I am here to make that not the case anymore. So I am on a mission and that mission starts now. Welcome to my Healthiest in Boston series. In this series, I am going to be traveling all around the city and finding restaurants that will cater to this oil-free plant-based diet. I'm gonna be connecting with the managers and the chefs of these restaurants to show you guys exactly what you can order so that if you are on an oil-free plant-based diet, you will be absolutely taken care of. But that's not all. I'm not just gonna be showing you guys plant-based restaurants. In fact, the majority of the places that I go to probably are not going to be plant-based restaurants because I want anybody of any diet to be able to go to these restaurants. Like I said, whether you're a carnivore or an herbivore, no matter what you are, even if you're an alien, you should be able to go to a restaurant and feel as though you're taken care of. And I'm gonna find the little gems in the city that allow this to be possible. So we are kicking off this series at Koi, an Asian fusion restaurant located in Boston, right at the southern tip of the North End, right next to Faneuil Hall. And I have a lot to say about Koi, but I think I'm just gonna kick it off by showing you this little clip from the restaurant's head chef, Danny Chang. So I come with dietary requirements. Uh -huh. Does that drive you nuts? No, not at all, because my wife is uh, uh, gluten-free, so I understand there are a lot of sick people, and there are a lot of uh, people who need special dietary, and that's what I'm praying for. So, thank you. Know, you. Oh, thank you. Couldn't you just die? And it's no big deal, but Danny was on Guy Fieri's grocery games, so celeb status making your food for ya. So it's an Asian fusion restaurant, which means if you wanna go the plant-based healthy honeys route, you absolutely can do that, and I'll show you what you can order so that you can be a healthy honey at that restaurant. But if you wanna go with people that eat traditional meals, then they can do that too, and they can get a traditional meat dish. 
it's great because it caters to all diets and they are so so accommodating so they offer vegan they offer gluten-free no matter the diet you eat you will be taken care of and if you're a drinker too you'll be taken care of I personally don't drink but the person that I went with does and Koi they they hooked it up let me tell you honey they brought over this big huge Buddha bowl which is like their scorpion bowl so if you if you're a little thirsty when you go you'll be taken care of too so let me tell you what you can order at Koi if you want to go the healthy honey's route so I ordered the healthy Emmy roll now when you go you can order the healthy Emmy roll but if you want to just order straight traditionally making your own little thing and not giving me credit for it it's fine I get it here's what the healthy Emmy roll is well first let me show you my my little moment that I had when I ordered the healthy Emmy roll I guess healthy Emmy roll Yes, that was quite exciting. But what the healthy Emmy roll is, is it's a sushi roll that's made with plain steamed rice because usually at sushi restaurants, they add mirin to the sushi rice. Mirin is sushi vinegar and it has sugar in it. And so I don't do added sugar. So they were willing to make the sushi rice with the plain steamed rice, which was amazing. So it's the plain steamed rice. And then inside of it, we've got mango and cucumber. And then we have Oshinko sprinkles on top. So this was killer and they have gluten-free soy sauce if you want to do that too. I also got some edamame obviously and I asked them if they could just keep the salt off of it and they were good to go. So if you are a healthy honey going to Koi, you can go to Koi and you can order the healthy Emmy roll and some steamed edamame. And if you are a little bit nervous about ordering the healthy Emmy roll, just have them make a plain sushi roll with plain steamed rice with mango, oshinko, and cucumber. Now, if you are not a healthy honey or if you want to go with somebody who's not a healthy honey, that is absolutely fine as well because there are plenty of offerings for you. The person that I went with does not eat the diet that I eat and they were taken care of. The first time around, they got the snow mountain roll, which looks like this, and it's a big taking on. So they got that, and then they also got some fried dumplings too. And then the second time that we came, oh, I almost forgot to mention that that meal was followed up by some gluten-free flourless chocolate cake because they do have a dessert menu too. And then the second time that we went, they got the General Sow's chicken, but Koi's take on it, and they said that it was top notch. The presentation of the food was tremendous and they made up some incredible drinks as well the food was 10 out of 10 and what was even more than 10 out of 10 was the hospitality because we truly felt so taken care of and so cared for and did not feel like dollar signs in the restaurant we truly felt as though we were being made food that was being made out of love. And I actually sat down with Katarina, who is the manager of Koi, her father and her own the restaurant together. And we chatted about this because I was so curious about why they were so sweet and accommodating. It's so hard to come by. And these are the types of restaurants that I'm trying to find, these little gems that really truly care about their customers and don't see them as dollar signs. So I can insert some of that interview now. Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain. Why don't you sing along? You said you're taken? I am taken, I'm sorry. She's a lucky woman. No, I'm the lucky one. Oh. <laughs> Ever brave. Memories like this never end. No, they don't fade away. So when I'm gone, when I'm gone, I'll be right there, close to the sun. Keep holding on, keep holding on And I'll be right there, close to the sun Close to the sun Close to the sun Katarina. I think definitely in this day and age, 
we have to, you know, give true hospitality, which in my opinion is accommodating the guests and, you know, doing our best. Like, if we can do it for you, we will do our best to provide great food, great service. And with that includes, like, dietary restrictions and preferences, and we're happy to do that. What can we do to not only thank you, but also prepare you for when we're coming? I always say to call ahead, write a note of what you're getting. What would make it easiest for you if people want to get this order? Um, definitely making a reservation and noting that this is what you want. That way in advance we know and we can prep the kitchen. Um, and we also love reviews and follows on our Instagram handle, it's Koi Meets World, um, or on our Facebook page because we love to spread the news, you know, of who we are and get more people to try our restaurant. Okay, so let's say I want to come and I want to get this roll. You said to make a reservation. Yes. Can I do it online? Do I call? Yep, you can do it. Um, we're actually using Yelp Reservation, so you can do it on Yelp, on our website, you can call in, anything. Okay. DM me, I will make a Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> Welcome to 2019. Okay, and we put a note on there saying our dietary restrictions. Yes. Do you want us to call before we come? No, um, as long as it's on a reservation on paper, we can take care of it for you. Okay, if I come with somebody and they're like a big foodie, they want to try fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I think that we cater to both we're like a wide range of audience because we can provide, you know, healthy alternatives or gluten free. We have that special menu, but we also give like really delicious, simple food, we call it. Well, thank you, Katarina. Thank you. I'm excited to come in tomorrow and get the healthy Emmy roll. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. All right, honey, so your next stop is at Koi in Boston and tell them that I sent you and that you are going to get the healthy Emmy roll. And if you're nervous, you can just order what I told you to order earlier. But the best part about Koi is not only how sweet they are, but the fact that they will cater to any diet that you have. So my honey is I adore you. Thank you for watching anywhere that you want me to go or any cities that you want me to come to and try to bring this series to, just leave a comment and we'll hook it up. All right, honeys, I adore you and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Woo!